Hi guys, this is Dynamic Language Educator. Do you know how to greet people when you meet them unexpectedly? In this video, you're gonna learn the expressions you can use when you run into someone you never thought you would. As usual, we are gonna watch some relevant scenes, analyze them together, and do practice. I hope that after watching this video, all of you will be able to greet people naturally, especially when you meet them unexpectedly. Okay then, let's begin. Richard? Hi! Hi! <laughs> what are you doing here? Do you work at the store? Oh, no, I own the store. No, no, I knew that. I just want you to think I was stalking you. You're stalking me? No, no, no. Um, it's going very bad. Hey! Hey! Uh, Small uh, world. What, what are you doing here? Uh, the gallery referred me. I, I needed to get a, a photo framed. I thought you went into that stuff. Well, I, I, I saw one that changed my mind. Save me a seat. Karen, what are you doing here? Savvy, hi. Where have you been? April and I must have left you a hundred messages. We thought you died. Oh, I am so... Brian. Mm. Brian. Yeah. Yep. Um. <clears throat> What are you, uh, what are you doing here? A couple guys out on the floor told me the temp was snoring back here. I can't believe it's you. Marcy, what are you doing here? I was just at your apartment. I've been worried sick. I didn't know where else to go. What is going on? Tell me. I can't. A mistake's been made and I'm not sure how to correct it. Okay, now please watch them again, paying attention to the expressions, topics, and atmospheres of the scenes. Richard? Hi! Hi! <laughs> what are you doing here? You work at the store? Oh, no, I own the store. No, no, I knew that. I just want you to think I was stalking you. You're stalking me? No, no, no. Um, it's going very bad. Hey. Hey. Uh, small world. What, what are you doing here? Uh, the gallery referred me. I, I needed to get a, a photo framed. I thought you went into that stuff. Well, I, I, I saw one that changed my mind. Save me a seat. Karen, what are you doing here? Savvy, hi. Where have you been? April and I must have left you a hundred messages. We thought you died. Oh, I am so... Brian. Mm. Brian. <laughs> yep. Um. <clears throat> what are you like? What are you, uh, what are you doing here? A couple guys out on the floor told me the temp was snoring back here. I can't believe it's you. Marcy, what are you doing here? I was just at your apartment. I've been worried sick. I didn't know where else to go. What is going on? Tell me. I can't. A mistake's been made and I'm not sure how to correct it.
Alright, let's analyze the scenes. Today's analysis is quite simple. First, expressions. You may have noticed, one expression is used in all the five scenes, and that's what are you doing here? So I highly recommend you to use this expression when you run into someone. Second, topic. They all talked about why they were there, and it determined the topic of the conversation. So I would say topics depend on the context. And because of the variety of context, we can't really predict what expressions we would have to use after the first expression, what are you doing here? So it's just up to you, and that's why you should keep memorizing vocabulary and expressions. Lastly, atmospheres. The five scenes display diverse atmospheres. But fortunately, they all started the conversations with the same expression, what are you doing here? So I would say, whoever you run into, you can start a conversation with what are you doing here, and the next expression you have to use will be determined by the answer for that question. The other expression I think would be useful are where have you been, and I must have left you a hundred messages. You can use them when you meet someone you haven't been able to reach for a very long time. Also, you can use the expression small world, which is in the second scene. It's used to express surprise at an unexpected meeting. Okay, to sum up, expressions what are you doing here is highly recommended. And where have you been and I must have left you a hundred messages can be used when you meet someone you wanted to meet for a very long time but couldn't. And small world can be used to express your surprise. Topics. In most cases, the conversation starts with why you're there, and the next topic will be based on the answer for that question. Lastly, atmospheres. There will be diverse atmospheres, but it'll be mostly influenced by the relationship between you and the person you're greeting. That's all for analysis. Please remember these points. Alright, let's practice. As usual, you're gonna find a countdown box in each scene. When the time's up, greet the person using the expression above the countdown box. Your roles in the scenes are as follows. Richard? <laughs> Hi! Hi! <laughs> you work at the store? Oh, no, I own the store. No, no, I knew that. I just didn't want you to think I was stalking you. You're stalking me? No, no, no. Um, it's going very bad. Very fast. Hey. Hey. What, what are you doing here? Uh, the gallery referred me. I, I needed to get a, a photo framed. I thought you went into that stuff. Well, I, I, I saw one that changed my mind. Save me a seat. Karen, what are you doing here? Savvy, hi. Where have you been? We thought you died. Oh, I am so sorry. Brian. Mm. Brian. <laughs> yep. Um. <clears throat> A couple guys out on the floor told me the temp was snoring back here. I can't believe it's you. Marcy, what are you doing here? I was just at your apartment. I've been worried sick. What is going on? Tell me. I can't. A mistake's been made and I'm not sure how to correct it. Thank you guys for watching this video. One of the ways to associate context with related expressions is repeating. So I recommend you to watch the scenes I show you as many times as possible so you can get fully get used to the expressions. If you like this video, please click subscribe. Have a great day and hope to see you soon.